Hi, I'm Adam Mattis with Sterling Machinery Exchange here in South El Monte, California. We're just 20 minutes east of Los Angeles, California, with over 2,000 new and used machine tools in stock, such as press brakes, shears, grinders, lathes, milling machines, CNC equipment, and much more. Today what we're going to show you is a really nice milling machine that we carry. It's a CNC vertical milling machine. Uh, this is a standard knee feed configuration. So you're going to have your standard knee just like a regular bridge pour style milling machine. It has a 10 by 50 table. You notice this, this particular model is a two axis CNC. Now what that means is right here you're going to have your X and your Y that are going to be CNC controlled by servos. Allow you for the table to be CNC programmed. And on this particular model without the third axis, you're going to have to pull down the quill during each pass and that will get it set to the next position. If you do want a three axis machine, they can put a third axis on this. And what that will do is go ahead and control your, your quill down and you wouldn't have to touch the machine at all. It will go throughout, down the entire process almost like a machining center. Another nice feature on these Acers is that it has an inverter head so you have a nice frequency range for speeds as well as on this particular model we have a power draw bar and what that will do is allow you for just to push the in and the out. This is an air draw bar and it will drop your collet right in your hand, pop it back up, hit it right back in. Uh, another nice thing about this mill is it is a CNC milling machine but you can use it in manual mode or CNC. So the first thing I'm going to kind of go over, we're going to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how this thing works, uh, some of the options on it, let you hear and see how it moves. Uh, first thing we're going to show you is just straight manual mode. So if you want to use it as a standard bridge port, you pull your handle out, the servos are currently off, use it just like a standard bridge port, and you'll notice here you have a nice three axis digital readout. You'll see the X as well as the Y changing here. And also the Z quill. So you can see you'll have a standard milling machine. Uh, there's a few nice options that you can use in the standard mode. We can go ahead and show you, we'll turn on the spindle. Here's how you change your speeds. This has a high and a low range of speeds. And if you want to go ahead and move it into more of a CNC capacity, we'll go ahead and we can hit CNC mode and that will let you move your axes for doing some checking and functioning, your X and your Y. And right here you'll have your feed speed if you want to increase that. you notice you can test that. It's good for setup, getting everything into place that you need to get into. And as quick as that from the CNC mode, you can go right back to this digital readout mode and you're in a standard function. Right back to the standard where you can't use the servos, the servos are turned off, and you're in a manual mode. Now the next thing we're going to show you on this email is more of the CNC aspect of this machine. Uh, right now we're, we're going to go away from the manual aspect, show you some of the conversational programming, as well as the G-code. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a conversational programming. This is more of a people-friendly mode. It's a lot easier to see than the G-code, which you could do all three on here, manual, G-code, or conversational programming. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and zero this out, home it out. Uh, we're going to home X and Y. You can see the table right now is homing. Now on this two axis, it's going to home in the X and Y. If this was a three axis, the quill would also be homing. Okay, so now we have a basic, easy program, easy to see. You can see all your axes. If you need to change the speeds on here, you can go ahead and do that. First I'll show you how to just hit speed on. You have your simple controls right here for your spindle. Start, stop, and reverse. Right now we're at 1200 RPM. We'll stop that. We'll go ahead and change the speed. Right now we're in the high range. We're going to go ahead and move it down to uh, 850. And hit start. And forward again. So right here is your enter button pretty much. 
You're going to go ahead and hit, if you want forward or reverse of your spindle, and you can see it started right back at the 850. We'll go ahead and do that again for you. Stop. Spindle speed. 1150. Or 50, yeah, 1500 won't work. Eleven fifty. Hit the enter and forward or reverse. So conversational program is going to make it a little bit easier. You don't need to know all the G code to get into it. Uh, another really nice function for people is this graphing function. So we'll go ahead and stop that, and I'll show you. Now, right here, you're going to have some quick buttons. It's going to allow you to get basically right to what you want to make for a few different functions on these machines. Uh, you can see there's a very nice easy graph. You're just going to enter your coordinates into the system and it's going to go ahead and create the program for you. So right here you can see it's a simple boring program. Uh, you can choose your depth right there, what, what type of uh, piece you're using, and it'll go ahead and make your program. Move it on here to your reaming tool. Another is your tapping tool and standard drilling. So it makes it really nice. All you got to do is put in your X, Y, and Z coordinates. It'll know exactly what you want to program in there, and it'll go ahead and create the program for you. And everything, of course, is saved in here so that you can save it, come back to the program when needed. So the next thing we're going to show you is the absolute CNC programming and the G code. All right, so now what we're going to do is show you some of the G code, the programming. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is that it does, of course, come with all the manuals you would need on this as well as a lot of nice little explanations um, and some training to show you how to use this control, make different configurations, as well as a uh, CD that comes with it. It'll help you out a little bit for learning. Figure is a great company, uh, been in business for a very long time. They have a very nice tech support. They'll help you out over the phone, or if they have to come to your place and teach you how to do that, they can do that as well. Uh, we're just going to show you a few little things on the G-code here. First, just go ahead and setting it to home. So we're going to go ahead and hit Shift, Escape. That's going to take us right into the G-code mode. We'll hit Jog. We're going to reference. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to jog home uh, the two axes that are built onto this machine. You'll see that it has an X, Y, and a Z. You could add more axes onto these machines, X, Y, Z, even a fourth axis rotary if you want to. Control's very strong, it's made to handle it. That's what they're meant for. This particular model is a two axis, so we'll go ahead and hit X and Y. Those are both what we're going to go ahead and home, and hit start. You can see right now the table is moving to the uh, exact home zero axis, and the readout as well. So you can see it's a very easy control to use. Uh, there's a lot of hot buttons here. There are different colors, which so makes it a little bit easier. You know those are the normal ones that you're going to be using most of the time. Um, you can change all your speeds, do the different types of programming, conversational programming, G-type, or just standard manual. Very, very quick and easy to use. If you're interested in this machine or any other, we do carry new and used CNC mills, vertical mills, drills, and all types of machining centers, please give us a call at 626-444-0311. You can check out our website for our current inventory at sterlingmachinery.com. Thank you.
Sterling Machinery sells all types of metalworking, fabricating, and chip making machinery such as lathes, metal shears, press brakes, punch presses, punches, grinders, milling machines, saws, plate rolls, iron workers, inspection equipment, welders, and much more. Sterling Machinery is one of the largest stocking dealers of new and used machine tools in the United States. You can view over 2,000 machine tools available for inspection on our floor or visit www.sterlingmachinery.com to view all machine specifications, photos, videos, prices, and buyer's guides for all types of equipment. If you can't find the machine you're looking for, please give us a call at 626-444-0311 and our educated staff can find the right machine for you. Do you have surplus equipment for sale? From one machine to entire shops, Sterling Machinery buys all types of equipment. Please contact us today. Thank you and we hope to see you soon. To view more helpful videos along with how-to videos and machinery for sale, please visit www.machinerytube.com, the web's premier machinery video site.